Hey everyone, welcome to another Malverse tutorial. So this time we're going to talk about character interactions. So in this tutorial we're going to make Steve interact with the wolf and let's make Steve do an execution on another character. So let's see what we want to do. So right here I'm going to get near the wolf and I'm going to hit E to pet it. Perfect. And now I'm going to get near this guide and I'm going to press E to execute it. Perfect. So let's see how we can do this. Now, let's create a new scene to start over. I'm going to tools, Malverse animation, create a, create a test scene. Now, right here, I'm going to set the wolf light in front of Steve something like this and then I'm going to create inside the wolf an empty game object and let's call this interaction interaction pet now what we're going to do is to create a zone so let's add a zone and this zone is a trigger so let's call a box collider and set it to trigger and I'm going to set it in front of the wolf right here and also let me add a gizmo visualizer to see the zone better so something like this what else do we need let's set this to in array cast this zone and now the wolf and Steve already have some petting animation. So if we go to actions, you'll see that Steve had a pet give animation, something like this. And the ID is three. You can also find it on the modes, action, abilities, and you will see that we have pet three when the when steve enters this zone i want to enable that pet animation so this is for steve so i'm going to add the action and i'm going to set into that pet and we're going to play it one time perfect but also when this zone is activated i'm going to play the animation on the wolf so going to events and on zone active i'm going to add to the wolf this event i'm going to add this link center and i'm going to let's go to mode mode activate let's use mode mode pin with the mode id first to pin the action and then we're going to do the same and go to find let's go mode pin ability activate right here and the ability that we're going to activate is three because the wolf light on the modes actions you will see in the abilities we had which is a three also and now let's see again the interaction we enable on Steve we had the pet animation and we also enable it on the wolf and now let's go also you see that we are looking at the wolf in this time we don't want to control the wolf so let's disable the malverse input we also don't want to be the camera target. Again, let's try this one more time. If we go here and press E, which is the input for actions on Steve. So let's go right here. Let's go to actions. Let's check in the general. We have interact and right here. We have interact set to E. 
but also we need to have an UI to show if we are inside the zone or not so let's create a canvas UI, UI canvas and on the project I have a interact UI prefab that you can drag into that canvas so select it and drag it into the canvas game object and let's change to scale with screen size and on the interaction we're going to add another prefab called fo focus on focus right here let's add this prefab and we're going to enable this prefab which will be the UI show when the character enters the zone when anything enters this zone, we're going to enable this game object. Set active to true. Now let's copy and paste it. And when the animal exits, we're going to disable it. Let's go again. Perfect. Now we need to change the description to pet. If I press E, the betting starts and everything is working but you will see that they are not aligned so we need to align them so in the interaction we're going to add an aligner aligner perfect and now we're going to go to the zone and click right click on the name and connect to align and you'll see that the zone will align the animal that enters the zone to the zone but instead of using position and rotation we're going to use look at so whenever we are on this zone we're going to look at this game object so let's add a radius but also the main point to look at is the wolf so let's add the wolf right here let's change the line time to 0.1 and let's play it again if we are right here we're going to turn around and pet the wolf let me set the radius to something like this let's try it again yeah it could be that value let's try 0.8 but also we need to align the wolf so here on the sun active event we're going to drag the aligner and then we're going to go to aligner align self to whoever enters the zone again we go right here let's pet and everything is working if i go something like here near the zone the wolf will align too and if you want to disable this ui simply Add another listener and drag the unfocus game object and set the game object set apt to false. So again, let's go right here. We're petting and everything is working. Now, what else we can do? Let's try and do an execution on a human. So I'm going to duplicate Steve and set it right here and I'm going to call it Steve NPC he is not going to be the camera target and he cannot be controlled and now I have found these animations for execution that we can use from the store you can use any animations you need but let's use it so right here i'm going to add on the this is steve the player and this is steve the npc now i want to kill this steve with that execution so i'm going to go to states let's go to death and i'm going to add a new empty state i'm going to call execution one and I'm going to make a transition 
important, you need to add the tag. So the animal controller knows that this is a death animation. And on the entry transitions, I'm going to set the enter state enter st status to something like I don't know three. Let's try three. And let's add the motion. So in the animations that I have downloaded, the execution is this one right here. So very important, you need to bake the root position and rotation to the executions animation so the character does not move around. So the alignment can properly work. So let's drag this animation right here. And since this execution has a sword right here, we can use Steve's sword. So let's go to modes and the 100 milli animations. Let's see right here. Why can we see it? We have the sword animations. So let's add to Steve the player a new ability for the melee animations. So let's go to tools, models animations, animator tools, let's go to modes, let's go to weapons melee, and let's go back to the executions animations, player A, let's drag execution one, and for this index I'm going to use something like 50. So entry mode exit we don't want a loop so let's not add that one let's add the mode and the interrupted transitions perfect so now we have this one right here now very important the transitions must match on the player execution and the NPC execution so let's set it to point 0.1 here and point 0.1 there so perfect now let's go to steve npc and let's add that zone so execution zone let's create a zone again let's create a box collider and a gizmo visualizer let's change this to ignore a cast set it right here or whatever you want and let's change this to 0.5 let's set it a bit bigger and now this zone will enable the mode weapon melee and the ability that we use on Steve the player was let's find it right here 50 so that zone on Steve we need to play the ability 50 what else do we need on the events when the zone is active we're going to play on the Steve NPC the death state so let's go to animal I'm going to press T to find states and state enable state activate we're going to activate the death but also we need to activate or we need to change the enter status of the state so again I'm going to animal let's press T to find it better and in set status we're going to set it to 3 I think is the value that we set it here yes 3 perfect so what else do we need we need to add an aligner aligner again we're not going to do the position or the rotation we're going to do the, the look at we're going to set the radius we're going to use steve as the main point set the aligning time to one 
and we're going to connect the aligning the aligner to the song and we also need to align self to the song so align self to these two right here again we also need a ui to prompt that we can execute the character so let's find the focus focus on focus game object and add it to the execution sign sign execution zone and let's type execute and connect it to enter and exit so again game object set to true copy and paste and set it to false perfect now if we go here we have the execute let me put it right above here but if we press e nothing happens because steep so the execution have no input to interact so what can we do about that and also this mode is not enabled unless steve has a weapon a melee weapon so let's add a sword collectible right here and on steve on the weapon manager i'm going to add this board again if we go right here i'm pressing e but nothing happens because that mode has no input again we go to the ability and here we add interact as the input you'll see that we can press e and the input will activate the mode but we do not want that so we can use this way what can we do is to go to the execution zone and add right here an input for interaction so let's create an action input and let's press down and when the input is pressed down we're going to enable this zone so let's go to zone activate zone but also this input needs to be only active when the animal is on the zone or when the character is on the zone so too much connections but we need to do it so input enabled true and input enabled to false perfect and by default this need to be off so let's try this again if we go right here and press e we have an execution perfect and if we go here we can pet the wolf and that's how you can do interactions with multiple characters using zones those zones can be disabled and enabled only when you want certain behaviors. For example, you can enable the execution zone when the health is very low. That way the zone is active only when you need it.